I kind of showed up and it came in this box. Uh, and then the dude, dude said it was unused, but it was like half price. So I figured that it had been, uh, I don't know, used for something, but uh, it's in all the appropriate bags. This is the mic, which looks good. And then weirdly enough, I've got, this is the head unit. It still has the plastic on it, which I thought was nuts. But yeah, it looks solid. No blemishes on it at all. This is the main uh, CPU here, although I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna sort of already get power to it. Uh, I think I know how to do it. I'm gonna take a little bit of work to do that. Here in the high castle, because I don't have nearly as many toys tools rather as I do at home. Uh, my connection here, this is data. All the brackets are in here. Fucking Christ, this thing was half price. And it came essentially new. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna fire this up if it works. Uh, this is the deal of the century right here. Yeah, so if you wanna know if you've been never used or not, just look at the power connections, which is still sleeved in the factory. So this, thing is, yeah, I, I don't know, this dude must have bought it and never got around to getting his certification or anything and decided to get what he could for it. Uh, but yeah, it went for about half price. So this is, I'm pretty stoked, but I gotta get fired up. So I'm gonna have to get to work on this, which probably means uh, battery backup. Yes. Good thing I have a battery backup. All right, this is Apollo, nosy cat. He's sniffing around that box. Uh, this right here is the uh, Icon 5100A. Uh, this is the display unit, or head unit, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this right here is the, the main part of the radio. This is uh, the connection that I've got, which is only DC, but fortunately, I have a battery backup. And I believe I've got this right. Uh, this is the black red one goes to negative and then the all red one goes to positive if you can see that when it's on there uh, so hopefully that's gonna work out right I would have read the directions but uh, I was lazy he's gonna crawl in that box isn't he? <laughs> oh yeah having the antenna connected would probably help I'm gonna try that and refire it all right, so now I've connected the antenna. I shut the unit down and I reconnected the antenna. It goes over here to my apartment setup, which is this uh, mag mount that's in the window. Um, I've got it on a metal base, but I, I don't think it's grounded, but and even it pulls in signals pretty good when it's connected over here to the Bofang, but I can't transmit on it. But then again, the Bofang's like notorious for having the shittiest mechanical transmitter there is. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire this up, see if something comes in. And nobody's really talking this time of night. Sounds like that buffing's pretty quiet. Yeah, I don't have anything on there. Well, the most important thing is that it, it, it's running. Uh, aside from not getting the signal, at least I know it's operational. So for the price point that I got it on, that's very exciting. Uh, of course, the next thing I got to do is I got to dig in this manual, which is, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to take a couple Adderall to get through this because a lot of details. That's like a Sunday morning thing. A cup of coffee and an Adderall. <sighs> Put my big boy pants on. It's like doing taxes. Only this is going to be a lot more fun. Uh, they also gave me a CD, which has uh, programming software on it. Uh, so I have to drag out the old Vio to play this, and then I got all the paperwork and everything. I took all this stuff out, so we'll see what happens. I guess this is the quick menu items. So yeah, this came with all the gear in it, so it's very exciting, very exciting. Uh, I wish it was picking up something, but like I said, this this Bofang would be transmitting if anything was going on on my local repeater, uh, and this is the no, this is the local one. This is the one right around the corner from me. So anyway, so that's it. Just thought I'd, I'd showcase basically what I got, learn about it, gonna put it in my vehicle, 
and then it's going to be my mobile radio on the road. And then I just got to figure out how to get uh, or how to spec a good antenna for it. Yeah, that's going to come later. All right. Hey, dude. You want, you want to be in the picture?